Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jordan Crook for TechCrunch, and that's a wrap on our CES coverage. I'm here with the winners, Marco and Alish of Cube Sensors. Way to go, guys. You won the hardware battlefield. Big deal. Yeah. Can I get a round of applause from the seven people? <laughs> awesome. So awesome. How does it feel? It, it feels great. It's like, well, it's Vegas, so yeah. <laughs> it's Vegas, so Viva Las Vegas. Viva yeah, the winners. Yeah. You guys are awesome. For those of you at home who don't quite know, Hardware Battlefield is something new that we're trying out here in Vegas uh, at CES. And we're essentially bringing hardware startups who don't really get a chance to get the attention of the big name publications and all the media. We're saying get up on our stage and do the same thing that we do at Disrupt. You guys did an awesome job. You had a great pitch. I'm really super proud of you because I actually wrote your post and covered you. I have mm -hmm. to mention that. Um, I mean, what are the next steps? Steps, right? You, got, you just won $50,000. You have this amazing trophy. What happens next? What's happening in the next few months? Um, we are now in process of shipping the first cubes to, to our users, get the feedback in, start speeding up process on the software side uh, because it's way easier to upgrade software than, than hardware uh, and expand from there. So for people who don't quite know yet, and really you should have been paying attention if you're watching this, but what does cube sensors do? Let's just kind of clear clear that up real quick. Cube sensors are these little small cubes that measure everything about the indoors. So everything that influences you, your health, or your productivity. We measure everything that can be measured about the indoors. You just place one cube in each room of your home or office, and it tells you what's going on. Tells you, like, maybe if it's getting dark, you should... Turn on a light. If it's dark, if it's uh, poor air, whether there is a risk of growing moats or fungi, what's going on in, in a nursery. This thing is so sensitive, it can actually sense a diaper. Wow. So, yeah. That's <laughs> terrifying. Um, what will you use the 50K for? A uh, portion of it goes to for salaries for my team. We've all worked That's fair. With, we've all worked with our salaries for, for a long time. Uh, rest of it goes mostly in working capital so we can speed up the, the, the process of production. And you guys are actually doing your manufacturing in, uh, in Slovenia. Slovenia, in hometown, yes. right? We are based in Slovenia. We bootstrapped this company for the past two and a half years in Slovenia, and all of the manufacturing happens in Slovenia. The main reason is that when you want to iterate on hardware, it's way easier to do it in a factory that, that's 20 minutes away by car than two days away by plane. Right. And it's way easier to bootstrap on gas than on plane tickets to China. Absolutely. So what was the most challenging part of this process? I mean, it was a long one, right? You came in, you shot your promo videos that ran during the battlefield, you practiced your pitch, uh, you had to spend time with these crazy people. What was the hardest thing? What was the most challenging part of the process? Huh. Being away from the team because they've been working hard back home. It was like semi-vacation for us here. You feel a little guilty? <laughs> yes. All right, that's fair. But you're bringing home the bacon, so it's all right. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my last question is, what advice would you give entrepreneurs that are coming into the next round of the hardware battlefield? Um, talk to, to the guys at TechCrunch, because we've tried to incorporate the, the, the advice that we got on the first few days, and it really paid off for us. Really? What was that advice? The, the little things on the... On the presentation, um, on the practices, we got the advice, for example, to to put cubes in hands of judges, uh, and we did, and that paid off. Because if you have a physical product, well, it's good to touch it, yeah. and that paid off for us. Awesome! Well, congratulations. We're so proud of you. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank Can you. we get one final round of applause? <laughs> and that is for sure a wrap on CES. Thank you guys so much for watching.